to determine who the stakeholders in any institution are. A very cursory research of what the word stakeholder means is that it is a party that has an interest in an institution and can either affect or be affected by the business of that institution. Mr. Speaker, there are many stakeholders in uh, the political process. Of course, every single citizen has an interest in the operations of the IABC and in the elections and politics of this country. But you have to identify the primary stakeholders and the secondary stakeholders. I would be urging this House to consider that, in fact, when it comes to the business of the IABC, the primary stakeholders are the political actors, and especially those represented through their various political parties. I will give an example, Mr. Speaker. There were certain controversies at the onset of Christianity that needed to be settled. For instance, the divinity of Christ, whether Christ is divine or whether he is to be made, or even the criteria to be used in settling the Gospels, which books were going to go into what is known today as the Bible, Mr. Speaker. There was convened something called the Council of Nicaea. This Council of Nicaea, Mr. Speaker, was fully composed of bishops and leaders in the Christian faith to settle these controversies. Another example, if you go to football, Mr. Speaker, the leadership of the Federation of Kenyan Football, the FKF, is determined by the clubs that play the league, Mr. Speaker. Those are the primary stakeholders. If you look at the, uh, the leadership of, say, Rugby Kenya, it's decided or selected by the rugby teams that are part of the, the league. What I'm trying to say, Mr. Speaker, is that for us as political players, and especially the political parties, I would be very, very hesitant to limit the number of slots that are allocated to the political players in this particular bill. Mr. Speaker, my biggest concern, I know uh, the majority leader raised concern about the question of uh, LSK. Many of these institutions interact with the law in their daily operations. My colleagues who are with us in the Mwangaza Impeachment uh, Committee will bear me witness that they, they saw benefit of having at least one lawyer in that particular committee. There is some value that we bring, especially when the team and the institution has to interact with the law. Mr. Speaker, my biggest problem actually with this bill is with the, parliamentary, uh, the Public Service Commission. Whose interest does the Public Service Commission represent? If you look at the composition of the Public Service Commission, it is a chair, vice, uh, vice chairperson, and seven other members appointed by the President with the approval of the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, if there is a partisan organization that only serves, can only serve to represent the interests of one side of the political divide, it's a Public Service Commission. I would be more inclined to return the one slot, Mr. Speaker, to the Parliamentary Service Commission so that at least the minority side can get a slot, the majority side can get a slot. We get the PPLC, which is also representative of the political parties in this country that have the majority representation and the uh, minority representation to get a slot each. These things we are not doing because I am in ODM today, Mr. Speaker. There is no uh, you know, uh, problem with me looking for a seat on any other political parties. But we are not doing this because I intend to run again in 2027. It is very possible, Mr. Speaker, that we can set an objective criteria that will affect or, uh, you know, bring about some level of balance in the manner in which these panels are constituted. So that even if the Senator uh, Thangwa from uh, uh, Kiambu, and we're having discussions with him, is convinced to join ODM and run in, on ODM in 2027, he will still find a representative of ODM on that selection panel. <laughs> and uh, even if I were to cross over, Mr. Speaker, it is an illustration, Senator Thangwa. Mr. Speaker, even if I were to cross over, I will find that there was already a slot on the panel that was allocated to the political party that I'm moving to. So these things are not about us, Mr. Speaker. It doesn't matter where you fall in four years' time. What we are saying is we can establish an objective criteria for us to be able to select these uh, individuals who go on the panel to achieve some level of balance, Mr. Speaker. Finally, what I want to assure this House is that all of us, Mr. Speaker, whether you are a religious leader, whether you are a political leader, whatever field you operate in, you have biases, whether you acknowledge them or don't. Mr. Speaker, my party leader likes to say, even the Pope, when given a... I'm afraid, uh, I'm afraid, Senator.